Okay, let's go ahead and put it in the front of the car. So let's find it over here first. Should be right there, T9 front. And with the front, we're also going to need the connector, the one block slot, and the two blocks the socket. Sorry, socket, not slot. Okay. So let's go and get these guys going again as our friends. We're going to get a flush constraint and say that the front of this lines up with the front of this. It doesn't look like it went to the right place, but it did. And just like before, uh, let's go ahead and collapse these guys so we can just focus on one part at a time. I want these two. So I click on them first. They highlight in blue. Know I got the right thing. I'm going to expand the origin folder on both of them. And I'm going to play around with those for my constraints. So I'm going to do a make constraint on the horizontal plane that passes through my middle piece and the horizontal plane that passes through my connector piece. Hit apply. I'm going to do the same thing with a vertical constraint. So I'm not <laughs> with the vertical plane. So there's my YZ plane. And that is also my YZ plane. I want those mated together, and it says I can't. So if you look, these are the same color plane. I have to switch to a flush constraint. And now it'll work. Okay. Um, then I can go and grab my connector piece over here. And I'm going to say that the front of this should be touching this part here. And I'm going to hit cancel. I don't want to see the middle passenger section anymore. I want to see the planes for my connector piece. Let's go back to my constraints. Grab that vertical plane on the connector and the vertical plane on the one block socket. And I'll do the exact same thing for that horizontal plane, which I believe is the XZ. I'm going to look at it this way so I can tell for sure. It is the XZ, and it should also be the XZ on this one. Hit apply, and we have one more left to go. Uh, I'm going to do this side. So I'm going to switch to flush. I'm going to say that is flush with this over here. Again, it doesn't look like it is, but it is. And I'm going to do that trick, so I'm going to collapse all these guys again. Highlight that one in blue. Check out the origin folder. Highlight this one. Check out its origin folder. Go to my mate constraint. We're going to use the X, Y, or I'm sorry, the Y, Z plane and the Y, Z plane and put those together. And we're going to grab the X, Y plane and the X, Y plane. And those are facing the same direction, so that needs to be a flush constraint. Hmm. Did not like that. So let's take a look at that one more time. These guys should be able to slide together. Let's go with a... I'll try and say mate constraint with the XY and the XY. Ah, it's the XZ for this one. Make sure it's a flush instead of a mate. Hit apply. That time it actually worked. And now I want that racing stripe to match up with this racing stripe. So I'm just going to say... Well, we'll keep it with flush. That side needs to stay lined up with this side. That bottom needs to line up with this bottom. And then a mate constraint with this face and with this face. Okay, next video we're going to put on the other set of wheels and the windshield.